Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a really easy piano version of Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. And we basically have one chord progression that kind of happens through the tune of kind of a G major, where we got G's, B's, and D's. And from that G, we'll be going to an A major chord. So we got kind of an A and a C sharp and an E chord. So kind of a really happy A. And you can work that a lot of different ways, actually. You can even just kind of do what I call blocking, where you kind of play the, the bass note in the left hand, kind of root three, five, G, B, D for the G, and then go to that root, root three, five for the A. Kind of as a big block. So G, A. So if you're just going to back up somebody playing, that could be a very, very cool way. Maybe with a pad sound or something very cool, just background kind of an idea. Or you could do some things called inversions for those chords where you play them in different orders. So rather than playing the G as G, B, D, you may want to experiment by playing it as B, D, G as kind of a first inversion idea, kind of playing third and then the fifth and then the root of the chord. Or you could even go up to the D note and play it D, G, and B as kind of a G major idea. Or you could go up to the next G and kind of do it root position again. So we can have G, B, D as a root position. B, D, G is first inversion, or D, G, B as second inversion, or back to G is kind of our root position. And we could take that idea and try it for the A too, so kind of like A major, and then go in C sharp, E, A, kind of be your first inversion, E, A, C sharp for your second inversion, and then A, C sharp, E for your root position. So you may want to kind of experiment with playing these chords different ways too, especially with that pad idea very cool to use some different voicings and kind of practice kind of moving around with, with chord shapes on the piano. You know, so you may want to kind of experiment with that. So we got kind of G, B, D, A major, B, D, G, C sharp, E, A, D, G, B, E, A, C sharp, G, B, D, A, C sharp, E, kind of an idea. Or there's some really cool uh, ways to kind of comp this too. And I was kind of following a little bit of the bass uh, uh, guitar part. So kind of a bass, bass, chord, bass could be cool on the G. And then going to the A for kind of a bass, 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 chord, bass. So G, bass, bass, chord, bass. So kind of a left, left, right, left, A, left, 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 right, left. funkiness going on. So it might be kind of cool even to kind of try that with the inversions too. So we want to kind of play around with that later. Or there's some really cool licks that kind of turn up in the guitar part through the tune where we could steal those. And one of them kind of starts around the A chord where you play C sharp twice, and then a B A, and then an F sharp E. So it's kind of a C sharp, C sharp, B A, F sharp E. So you may want to do that G hit, and then kind of hit the lick. kind of a cool thing to do and actually there are a couple spots in the tune where you also hear this, this other lick that kind of comes out where you could play the G and then we go G F sharp and then E D so it's kind of G G G G G F sharp E D G G G G G G F sharp E D Take that lick and move it around to G, 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 A, N, G, G, F sharp, E, D. Or you could even move that up to a higher G if you kind of dig on that. <laughs> or you could mix it up a little bit too. <laughs> You may want to kind of play around with that idea too. Or other comp patterns too, other ways to kind of mix. 
mix it up actually. So there's all kinds of different rhythm ideas. You may want to kind of play around with too through that idea. But I was really kind of digging on that bass, bass chord, bass, 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 bass chord, bass. Just kind of jamming all those two chords too. So, best of luck.